Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Order. Honourable Rodney Hyde. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Has he received any reports regarding the comment attributed by the New Zealand Herald to National MP Shana Dern that, quote, Mr. Hyde could stop the ETS if he wished by reconsidering his party's confidence and supply agreement with National, end quote, and what is his view of the emissions trading scheme and the confidence and supply agreement? The Mr. Speaker, Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, I am aware of the comments. My view of the ETS is that it strikes a good balance between our economic opportunities and our environmental responsibilities. My view of the confidence and supply arrangement with the ACT Party is that it forms the basis of what is a very positive and healthy relationship. I thank the ACT Party for its contribution in our stable and balanced government. In particular, I thank the Minister for the great work he did in reforming Auckland. The Honourable Rodney Hyde. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister, does he share ACT's concern that the entire net gain from tax cuts for the 550,000 households earning between $40,000 and $85,000, shown to be 0.4 per cent of their income on page 9 of the budget, is eaten up by the 0.4 per cent extra cost of the emissions trading scheme as shown on page 65 of the budget, that is, that what Bill English has given back, Nick Smith has taken away for over a million middle-income New Zealanders. The Honourable Prime uh, Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, no, because the estimates I have is that the ETS will cost the average household around about $3 a week and the tax cut for someone on $50,000, even if they consume the lot, net of GST is about $14 to $15 a week. The Honourable Rodney Hyde. Hyde. Is the Prime Minister therefore saying that the figures contained on page 9 of the budget and page 65 of the budget, showing respectively the, the extra income for middle income households between $40,000 and $85,000 and the extra cost of the emissions trading scheme are wrong? The Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, no, but the answer is one's a measure of the CPI and one's a measure of their general income. Question number three, Craig Foss. <laughs> Mr Speaker. <laughs> Order. 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 I've called Craig Foss. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance.